Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called June the Mentet's Diversion. It is by Will Alone, I set my mind in motion. It is by the juice of Safu that thoughts acquire speed, the lips acquire stains, the stains become a warning. It is by Will Alone, I set my mind in motion. It is really scary. I did not need to look that up or practice it. Um, I'm a geek. Um, so, yes, this is the second June puzzle that I was sent. Um, I was sent this quite a while ago, um, but between taking a break and having a look at other things, um, this one did slip through the cracks a bit. Um, this was sent to me by Half-Baked Lunatic when June was in theatres. I think it's coming out on streaming soon, so it might be a good time to do it as well. So we will see. Although the I don't think the um, Sappho juice was mentioned in... Um, in, um, the, in the new movies. So, um, yeah, reference to the David Lynch movie, of course, um, and the books. Um, so great. I think it's in the books. I'm assuming it's in the books. I, I read the books 35 years ago and, oh, I read some of the books 35 years ago and the first one was great. And then they took a very, very rapid downturn, in my opinion. Um, anyway, let's have a look at the puzzle. Um, I, I'm also a big fan of the David Lynch movie. I, yeah, I'm the one. <laughs> um, so anyway, normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Uh, digits in cages sum to the total shown. Hmm. May need to... Uh, mm. may need to redo the rules before this puzzle is published and I, I don't know what I'll do about above because there is nothing in the rules that is stating that those can't both be a five and I'm assuming this is supposed to be normal killer mm. yeah I'm going to the rules above are going to be wrong because I have been trying to stick more with the um, the rules as provided by the setter. But, yeah, I'm assuming these are killer cages um, and that digits cannot repeat, but the rules don't state that. Hmm. Maybe digits are supposed to be able to repeat, though normally if someone breaks with a variant like that, they do call it out. Sorry, I'm really stuck as to what to do at this point. I'm not sure if the digits are supposed to be able to repeat in cages or not. I think I'm going to have to solve it, assuming digits can repeat in cages. Okay, um, digits along a Sappho juice colored thermometer must increase from the bulb end. So as we move along these lines, digits can increase. So, um, oh, digits must increase. So this digit will be higher than this. This digit will be higher than this. This digit will be higher than this. And then digits separated by a black dot must be in a two to one ratio. Okay, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So I'm really discombobulated by the fact that digits may be able to repeat. So this digit may be one of those three. This digit may be one of those three. That's really discombobulating, and I'm not sure what to do with it. These are the rules specifically provided by the setter. So yeah, th that it is possible that digits can repeat in these cages. Not in these ones, because these ones... Um, are all in the same region, but that cell, that digit could be one of those three, and that digit could be one of those three. Okay. Oh, where do I start now? Okay, so there is a restriction going on in box four. Because 9, 8, 7, the maximum this digit could be is 7, and the maximum this digit could be is 7. So I can never put in an 8 or a 9 in any of those. So there is an 8 and a 9 in this 25 cage. Now, 8 and 9 sum to 17. So I've got two digits summing to 17. 25 minus 17 is 8. So the other three digits must sum to 8. And you cannot make 8 without a 1 in three cells. Because if I don't use a 1, then I have... 2, 3, and 4, which sums to 9. And 2, 3, 4, 8, 9 is 26. So I must use a 1. 
So there's no one in either of these. So that means I can't put a seven in here because if there was a seven in one of those, seven, eight, nine would be 24 and the other two digits would have to sum to one. So there's no seven in here. So seven is out here. But if I put seven on a bulb, what would I put the next cell along the thermo thermometer? Because eight and nine is not available. So seven is not on any of the bulbs. Okay. Now, can I put six in here? So if I put one, six, eight, nine... 189 is already 18. If I put a 6 in with it, I need another 1. That doesn't work. So 6 is out here. Um, and then in here, I need two more digits at sum to 7, which is either 2, 5, or 3, 4. One of these is a 7. So one of those has to be an 8. So this can't be an 8, and one of those is a 9, because it's either going to go 7, 8, 9, or 7, 8, 9. I'm not sure what to do with that. But this cage has the same makeup. Yeah, this cage has the same makeup. I can't put 8 or 9 in any of those. So 8 and 9 goes into the cage. The other digits must sum to 8, so there must be a 1 in it. Now, I can't put a 7 in the cage for exactly the same reason. 7 is in one of those two. 6 is in one of those two. Now, where is 7 and 6 in this row? I can't put them in the cage. So 6 and 7 goes into one of those three cells. What is that doing? Well, again, I can't put 8 here because 8 is in one of those. So I've got 8 in one of those. So I can never put 8 or not. I can never put 8 along here. But that doesn't stop that being anything. So the maximum here is 7. That's not that restricted. So 7, 6, 5, the maximum here is 4. This is 1, 2, 3, or 4. Because I can't put an 8 or a 9 here, because one of these is going to go 7, 8, 9. So if the 7 is here, this is going to go 8, 9. If the 7 isn't here, it's here, which means that's not 7. That 7 is going to go 8, 9. So there's an 8, 9 here or an 8, 9 here, which means this can never be 8. So its maximum is 7. Maximum here is 7. So maximum 7, maximum 6, maximum 5. But you can never put a 5 on a black dot. So this is 1, 2, 3, or 4. This can't be a 3. Because if this is a 3, this would be a 6. But the 6 is in here because of the way that the 6s are lining up out here. So this is not a 3. This is a 1, 2, or 4. If this was 6, 7, 8, 9, if this was the 7, 8, 9, could I make a 30 cage? Can you make a 30 cage without an 8 or a 9? So if I use an 8, 9 here, what's the maximum I can make this cage? 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 is 13, 18. No, I don't even get close. This can't be the 8, 9. Because 76543, what is it actually? 76 is 13, 18 plus 43 is another 7, is 25. So if this is the 89, the maximum this could be is 25. It doesn't work. This can't be the, well, the other way of looking at this is this would be 17. Um, if I add 17 to 30, then I'm at 47, but the, the sum of the digits from 1 to 9 is 45, and that doesn't work. So this can't be the 7. This is the 7. This is the 8. This is the 9. This is not the 7. So this can't be the 7, because if that's the 7, that's the 8, that's the 9, that's not possible. So this is 7. This is 8. This is 9. That's kind of cool. I like that. That was, that's nifty. So what must go in here? Well, hang on. The maximum there now, this can't be a six because this would have to be seven or eight and it can't be. This can't be a six because this would have to be seven, eight, nine. That doesn't work. So this is the six. 
And what are these? So these sum to seven, and they're the seven that isn't in here, because this is either one, two, five, or one, three, four. So this is either two, five, or three, four. And the six takes six out of there and puts the six into there. And this is the same. This is the seven that's not in the 25 cage, because this is either one, two, five, eight, nine, or one, three, four, eight, nine. So this is either the two, two, five, or three, four. So this minimum five, five, six, can, can't be seven, eight, and it can't be nine. So this is only five or six. This is a minimum six, but it can't be six. So this is seven, eight, or nine, and it can't be eight or nine. This is a seven. Can I repeat that here? This has to be at least five. It can't be seven, eight, or nine, so it's five or six. This has to be higher than five. It can't be six, it can't be eight or nine. This is seven. So is it this 30 cage now? I can't use a seven in the 30 cage. What happens if I don't use a nine in 30 cage? I would have eight, six. I couldn't use eight, six, five. So it'd be eight, six, four, three, eight, six, four, three, two. That's got to be way too low. 432 is only 9. I'd need another 21 in two digits. That doesn't work. There must be a 9 in the 30 cage, and it must go in here because the 9 is looking down. Now, if I don't use the 8, I'm at 9. I can't use 8 or 7 if I don't use an 8. 9, 6, 432. And again, 432 means I need another 21 in two digits. It doesn't work. So there is an 8 in here. So there's an eight in one of those, and it's not here. Actually, what could this be? That's the way of looking at it. These have to sum to 15. So these have to sum to eight. Yeah, so this box sums to 45. Now these sum to 30. So 45 minus 30 is 15. These have to sum to eight. If this is six, these would have to sum to two. It doesn't work. This is the five. These now have to sum to three and they are a one, two pair. That's the better way of doing it. Five here, of course, makes this four. And now this, because this had to sum to the seven that wasn't in the 25 cage, this is the three. So these are one, two, five, eight, nine. One, two, five, eight, nine. There is no nine there. There is no eight there. There's no five there. And these are, well, this is three, nine, because three, nine must go into the cage, and I can't put three or nine in any of those cells. So this is three, nine, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, six, eight. Three, nine is 12, so this better sum to 18. Four, six, eight is 18. So that takes eight out of there. Eight is in one of those two. That works. Yes, good. One, two, five. This is a maximum of six now. This can't be a four anymore. Six, this couldn't be a five, so its maximum would be four, and that can't be a four anymore. If this is a one, this is a two. If this is a two, this can't be a four. So this is a one. This is always a one, two pair. 17 plus 19 is 29, 36. These need to sum to nine. Well, they're not, and, and there's only four possible options. Can't be one, two, it doesn't sum to nine. It can't be two, four, it doesn't sum to nine. It can be three, six, it can't be four, eight. This is a three, six pair, which takes six out of there. And I know what these are. These are one, two, four, five, seven. Now, if I add those together, one, two, seven sums to 10, four, five sums to nine, I've got it. Right. There's no seven in any of those. There's no seven there. That's the seven. So this is either two, five, or three, four. Oh, there's no eight here because of that. If this was 
two five, that would be a one. Is that a problem? There's no one two there. I keep getting distracted, don't I? The one and two are in here. If this is three four. No, that's broken. This can't be three four. If this is three four, that would line up with the three four here, and I'd need to put three four in here. But the six seven is already lining up with the six seven, and I have to put six seven in here. So if this is three four, we'd have three four six and seven in those positions, and these three cells would need to contain three four six and seven. That doesn't work. This is two and five, and this is one three four eight nine. Now there's no nine in those. There's no eight there. This five made this six which means that's three and that's six, which takes three out of there as well. No nine. Not sure. There's no three or four there. This is one or eight. Two five looks across, making that the one, taking one out of all of those. The one, no, it doesn't do anything, does it? These are all one, two, three, four, five because six, seven, eight, nine are gone. So these, one, two, three, four, five. Now there's no two there, but this is a run. So this is one, two, three, two, two, three, four, three, four, five. That's not really helped. This can't be a three, because if this is a three, this would have to be a six, and we know the six is down here. So this is not a three, this is a one, two. A one would make that a two, and it can't be. That's a two. So this is not a two, this is not a three. There's no two here. One is in one of those two. Two here, this can't compare one. So this is a four, taking four out of there. So this is a four. So those have to sum to 21. That's still pretty okay. I'm still really worried about these. So this is at least five. It can't be six, seven. So it's five, eight, or nine. Can't be five. This is eight or nine. Hang on, similar to this, there must be an 8 or a 9 in a 25 cage, mustn't there? If I don't put an 8 or a 9 in a 25 cage, what happens? I would have... So if I was to put 8 or 9 out here, I would have... Well, I could only have one of 6 or 7 in the cage as well. So I would have a maximum of 7, 5, 4, 3, 2. There's no way that gets there. Seven, five, four. Seven and five is 12 and four is 16. Three, two is another five. That's 21. That's nowhere near it. So eight or nine must be in here. There must be an eight or a nine in here. But more importantly, none of these can be eight, nine. So this can't be six, seven, eight or nine. The maximum here is five. So the maximum here is four, the maximum here is three. So this is two, three, three, four, four, five, and it can't be four. So this is the five. There's no five here, but this is a one, two, three, four. So that's the six, taking six out of there. These are one, two, three, four. Three must be on this thermo. The four is looking down, making that three, two, one, making that four, which makes that five and four, five come out of there. The one makes that two. These sum to six. So these have to sum to 19. Now, there must be an eight or a nine in it. Can I tell which? I can't put a three in it, though, can I? So if I did 973, what does that get me to? Nine and seven, yeah, that actually gets me to 19. That does work. 
5 takes 5 out of there. Actually, this is a triple now, isn't it? The 2 takes 2 out of there. This is 1, 8, or 9. I can't put a 1 in here, surely. 1, 2, 4 would be 7. These would have to sum to 18. That doesn't work. This is not the 1. The 8, 9 pair makes that the 1, taking 1 out of all of those. Takes 1 out of there as well. So that's now a 3, 4, 5 triple. That's the 1. Looking down, making that the 2 and that the 1. Looking up, taking 2 out of there. Still very nervous about those cages. So there's the eight, nine in the box. So I can't put a one in this cage. And the, I can't put both. So this is one, six, seven. Where? No, that can't be. That can't be right. Yeah, it is. One and one. One, six, seven, one, six, seven. This is roped. This is one, six, seven. So this is a three. So there's no three there. So two, three, and four is nine. These have to sum to 16. Well, there's only one way to make 16. If this was an eight, this would have to be an eight. That doesn't work. This is a nine. And now this has to be two, uh, two three. These are 18. 25 minus 18. That's a seven. And that's a 1-6 pair. The 9 makes that the 8, which makes that the 9, taking 9 out of those. This is 3-4-8. That's the 4. This is a 3-8 pair because of the 3 and the 8. The 3-4-8 takes 8 out of there. This is 2-5-9, which means that's the 8. Could have got that from that 8. Oh, well, didn't. 3 looks up making that 4, which makes that 5. Okay, now, I'm really nervous about how this is going to work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are three, four, five, eight. Now, I can't put five on a black dot. There's no valid ratio with it. Three would make that six, so it can't be three because there's no six available. Eight would make that four, and that doesn't work either. That's the four, and this is either two or eight, and it can't be eight. That's two. So four comes out of all of those. Five must be in one of those two. This five looks over making that the three, which makes that the eight, that the three, and that's the five. Now, I suppose the question is, if those are both five, that would, but I know what those three digits are. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are one, eight, and nine. So I can do it by sum. So eight and nine is 17. 18 plus 5 is 23. That has to be a 7 to get me there. So there is no repeat in this cage, but that hasn't proven anything about this one. Now, the 189, there's no 9 in there. That's the 9. The 18 looks down, making that the 2 and that the 1. This one looks up, making that the 6 and that the 1. This is a triple in this column. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. There is no nine there. There's no six at the bottom. There's no nine there because of the three, no, no nine there because of the three nine pair. The six, eight makes that the nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are four, seven, and eight. There's no seven there, giving me a four, eight pair, making that the seven. The four looks down, making that the eight, that the four, that the eight, which makes that the six. One, two, three, four, five go in. The four looks down, making that the five and that the four. This box is just a complete run. The six looks up, making that the eight, which makes that the one and that the eight. These, I need to put a one in one of those two, but that one looks in, making that the one, that's not the one. This is a triple. One, two, three, six, nine. There's no nine in either of those. That's the nine. And now I can't repeat in this cage either because um, there's no nine available to put in the rest of it. So there are no repeats in cages, but the rules didn't specifically state that. Three and six. But I know what these three digits are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can never put five on a black dot. There's no valid ratio. This is the three, six. This is the five. But I know what these digits are. Were these cages actually needed? I'm not sure. Anyway, one, two, three, four, seven. 
Um, I mean, maybe I've made a mistake, which is very possible. The five looks down, making that the two, which makes that the nine and that the five. The two and the four look up, making that the seven, taking seven out of those. The six looks up, making that the three and that the six. The three looks down, making that the nine and that the three. And the two looks up, making that the four and that the two. Okay, that was kind of easy. I don't know what was going on with these cages. I did, did I use, yeah, I used the sum here to give me that seven. But I'm not sure I used that at all. I mean, Kate, part, and that's not a concern. I mean, um, puzzles often have multiple paths through them. And that's perfectly acceptable. I really did like this. I mean, maybe I, it was by will alone I set my mind in motion. It was by the juice of Zafu that thoughts acquire speed. Maybe I just did okay on this one. But I really enjoyed it. I liked the deduction with these thermos interacting with the 25 cages, forcing 8-9 in. And then I really like this deduction with the 30 cage. And if this was the 789, then this box blew the 45 total. Um, I thought that was really clever. And that was able to, you were able to figure out this was the one two. And then you could use a similar logic here to force this to be three six with that being the seven. Yeah, I thought that was really clever. And then it was just Sudoku. I'm trying to get better at doing the Sudoku. I do need to remember to click the little heart because um, I do like the puzzle. How many times has this been solved? 5,812. I suspect this has been featured somewhere else and I didn't know it. Okay, that happens. Very cool puzzle, though. Oh, well. I don't get told everything, particularly when I'm on break. And this may have been solved months ago. I don't know. But it was a lot of fun. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, if you have seen this puzzle before, eh, sorry. But, um, you know, I this is what I do. I just get puzzles submitted to me and I do them and I try and do them as much justice as I can. Um, I'm still really confused about why you wouldn't state the digits cannot repeat in cages when you've got cages that look like this. But I'm trying to just roll with the flow a little bit more. Um, but I am going to call it out when I see it as, huh? Um, but yeah, it worked anyway. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always... Good luck with your solving.